Welcome back to the sawmill, friends. It's Wednesday, and here in Northeast Tennessee, it is a beautiful day. Check out that sky right there. It's about 58 degrees. You can't beat it for this time of year. It's the best time of year, guys. I love fall. So today, we got a lot to do. We need to run the sawmill, run the backhoe, put up some boards on the side of the timber frame, and we might even pull some wire. Who knows what we're getting into? Hang in there with me, guys. It's gonna be a good day. First thing I need to do is finish up this cedar log from yesterday. I mean, it's a nice one. I'll tell you what, not much rot at all. A little bit down there at the bottom that's starting to show, but that's more toward the pith. Looks like the width is about 11 and a half inches right there. That's really good for cedar. I'm running a silver tip turbo seven as always on there. The Joe main specials from down in Georgia. I love those blades guys. I got a pine to put on here next, but it's already in a cant. So we'll make three and a half by four quarter plants out of that. We'll do batten strips for the barn. Then we're gonna put all this on the tractor, take it down to the timber frame, unload it, probably lunchtime by then. So eat some lunch and then we're gonna get the backhoe fired up and finish up that utility ditch because I'm bringing the power over to the timber frame this week. That way we can get the motor running. So a lot going on today, guys. And uh, I think I'm forgetting something. No, I'm not forgetting anything. I can't remember, who knows? Anyways, guys, let's get going here. We got a lot to do. Burning daylight.
right, guys, we're back up here at the sawmill and check it out. It is dark outside, and guess what time it is? It's 5.45. I hate this time of year. I mean, I love fall. I like the cooler weather. I hate the time change. Have I mentioned that before? I probably have. But I was down there working on the barn. I turned around. It was getting dark. I had the cameras rolling, and you guys probably can't even see what I was doing. So I thought I'd come up here to the sawmill and finish out this video with a little session of Q&A. Arthur Wagger says, I, I can't pronounce some of these names. I apologize in advance on this. Your equipment is lacking in scratches. I agree. I need to put some more time on this equipment and break in this sawmill. It's only got 20 hours on it. Richard says, what does four quarter mean? Four quarter is one inch on the thickness. Eight quarter is two inches. Nine quarter is two and a quarter inches. Let me see. Oh, this is a good one right here. This is a good one. This is from Robert. And I can't pronounce your name, so we're just going to call you Robert there, friend. I'm not sure what video he was commenting on either. Here we go. Boring. Watching noisy machines move ugly logs around. Then again, it's also a bunch of profanity right there. Walnut that is not... What's he saying? Walnut that is... Complete sentences there, buddy. Come on. Walnut that size not... not Give me a second here. I'm going to paraphrase him. Walnut, that is that. I can't pre Goodness. I can't even. Robert, you win. <laughs> I can't even. How do you respond to that? I mean, this is a sawmill channel. It's a noisy machine. It's not solid. It moves around and saws logs. Move ugly logs around. I don't understand some people. That's a very odd comment right there. And if he can find walnut, I'm refer. I'm a. He must be referring to that walnut log the other day, the 36 inch diameter one we got in here about two weeks ago. And if he has plenty of those, then he's got a lot of money on his hands. But I doubt he does. Next up, we have Fire Captain Tom. What's up with the coconut oil on the shelf in the mill? Man, you guys are observant. Check this out over here. He's right. There it is. Coconut oil. Coconut oil is to get pine pitch off your hands, off your gloves, your clothes, the sawmill rails, anything you don't want it on because it's so sticky. And coconut oil is a good natural remedy to get that off. All right, I can't pronounce your name, buddy. Sorry, I just noticed your mill don't seem that long. How long of a log can it do? 20 feet. All right, FIX News. Not sure what's up with that channel name right there. Is that a Chinese tractor? It is not a Chinese tractor. Rest assured, it was not made in China. All right, guys, here's another good one right here. Here's somebody else that we must have offended in our videos. I would pronounce your name, but I'm not going to give you the air time. Uh, cutting trees without planting them, where is the world going to? Well, I'm just going to quit. I'll tell you what, this sawmill is going up for sale tomorrow. So is the tractor. This lumber is going to go down to the landfill. I'm done. You have set me straight there, pal. Cutting trees without planting them. Where's the world going to? That's ridiculous right there. And last up, guys, this is a good one right here from E.W. Gentry. I put this on Instagram the other day as well. I kind of got a kick out of it. Personally, I think that logging should be illegal. And anyone caught deserves a nice vacation in the nearest jailhouse. Go ahead and start a GoFundMe page, guys, because I'm going to need some bail money. So E.W. Gentry, I guess you live in a plastic house. And uh, I don't know what you use for toilet paper. I bet that's a rough experience, too. So thanks for watching, guys. We will do this again, this little Q&A at the end of some of the videos. And I'll be back on the sawmill tomorrow. Get that light out of here. And uh, I guess that's all I got to say tonight. Yep, that's about it. You guys have a good evening. Thanks for watching.